Good morning guys. So today's video is going to be a gym collection video which judging from the fact that I've restarted this video about 10 times is just going to show how this is not something I would ever normally film but it's something that has been very highly requested and since I have been showing my daily runs online and like my home workouts a lot of you have been messaging on Instagram and asking about my sports bras or the trainers I'm loving or leggings that don't fall down and that kind of thing so I thought I would just make one video that shares with you my kind of core main collection of gym clothing so this is like everything that I wear all the time I do have like the odd couple of t-shirts and stuff here and there which I'm not going to put in the video because I just thought if I don't really wear them or I haven't worn them in ages then I don't really want to put them in a video and share them with you because it's not necessarily something that I actually wear to work out but if you are watching this video from somewhere outside of the UK your rules on lockdown might be slightly different but in the UK we are allowed one hour of exercise outside a day so that could be a walk or a run you're not really supposed to go out and do yoga and stuff in the middle of a field or like a hit workout people do if you're in the middle of the field and you're not hurting anyone then fine if you're going on a bike ride fine but I personally have been going for daily runs at about 7 38 o'clock in the morning and trying to run <laughs> a 5k which I've been doing really well and I'm gonna kind of push myself to try and do a 10k which I'm not a runner like I have never in my life been a runner in school I used to bunk off the classes because I hated running I was always the slow one I have literally since we've lived in this house I think I've run maybe twice in my house like last house never ran a house but like literally in the past three years I'd say before lockdown I probably ran about 10 times at a push and now I have an Apple watch and a whole gym wardrobe and I go on daily runs like, I don't know what's happened to me since lockdown but I really enjoy running so yeah without further ado we're going to jump into the video and I'm actually going to start with trainers because I think that's probably the most important part of a gym kit and I cannot rate my trainers highly enough like I literally tell them to everyone because they are insane. So I actually do have two pairs of trainers and I'm gonna run through them individually. So this is my oldest pair, which I've had for, I wanna say maybe like four years now. And these are definitely some of the best running trainers I've ever had. These are the Nike free run, flexible fly knit kind of Fandango. Very, very comfortable, but I actually tend to wear these more for like spin classes and stuff, just because I find them really comfortable for that. Or like if I'm doing some kind of cardio workout, however, as much as I love these, I have actually just replaced them with something even better. So they're kind of now my backup trainer. And I've actually replaced them with these, which are the Adidas Pulse Boost. And they come in so many different colourways. My sister's actually got them, I think, in pink and white. Um, I just went for plain black because it goes with everything. And they are genuinely like wearing socks. So they've got this really comfortable sole. They've got like the fly knit texture on top. And they're literally like a sock, so you just slip them on. So they have laces, but the laces don't actually do anything. And they are honestly the most comfortable thing in the world to run in. And also, I used to wear these at the gym to do like weightlifting and stuff. And I found them fairly good for leg day and like other kind of weightlifting activities which I think sometimes it's really hard to find trainers that are versatile for all those different things because strength training normally requires like converse or something for a bit more stability but these are really great and they are especially good for running so I will leave them linked they do also come in men so I actually recommended them to a friend recently who also has agreed they are amazing so I'll leave a link to the men's and women's just in case you've got a boyfriend who's maybe looking for some or you just know of someone or you are someone who's looking for the men's ones but these are obviously the women's ones and yeah I'll leave both linked but genuinely the best trainers I've ever bought and I praise them to everyone. But moving on to the rail I'm going to start with sports bras. So these are the longest lasting in my collection. They're these little sports bras from Nike which are identical. One's black, one's white. I just put them both on the hanger so you can see both because I think it's important to know that I bought multiples of these and I enjoy them. But these are, what size did I get? I think I got an extra small. Yeah, I got an extra small in these ones and I actually find them really, really comfortable. So they've got these like adjustable little straps at the back. They did have padding in, which I took out because personal preference, I just don't like padding in a lot of my sports bras. I think sometimes it can look a bit awkward and uncomfortable and I don't really have boobs. So like support for me isn't a massive thing. As long as my boobs don't like bounce around and hurt when I'm running, I'm kind of fine on that. But these are really, really great. They're really classic. They kind of feel like just wearing a normal bra, but they are a bit supportive and they don't like make you excessively sweat which I feel like some sports bras they feel really like tight and restricted and clammy whereas these just feel really like light and breezy and very very comfortable um then the next sports bra I've got is this one which is actually from Gymshark which you will notice a lot of my rail is from Gymshark there's no affiliation I've never worked with them I just really really like their clothing and I think they are a great brand I think most of the stuff I've got bar like 
one or two things are really really good quality the only thing i found i didn't like was the flex leggings because i think they are too like tight in the waist like the elastic's just a bit too tight which for me just wasn't a thing like i didn't really like it but the ones that i've got on the rail are the ones that i really do like and the styles that i think are worth investing into so first up we have this bra which i believe is called the studio this one i got about two weeks ago along with a couple of other bits on the rail and i've worn it on a run i've worn it for a hip workout i've worn it for like some light workouts and it's really really comfortable and the one thing i love is that it's got this like high neck detailing so it's really supportive and it feels a bit more covered up so it's more like you're wearing a crop top than a bra um it's got this beautiful little detailing on it does come in a few different colors and stuff but it's also one of the only bras i've ever had which has like a really nice back detailing that isn't a back detailing that takes away from the support so like a lot of the ones i've tried before if they are quite like detailed or anything i found that because of the detail it takes away from like the support level of it but this one's really great i love the fact that it's still got like a really thick back waistband bit if that makes sense like it's still got quite a good support system here i actually normally go for a size small in gymshark so i think pretty much everything i've got is a small unless i say otherwise so for reference i am a size 8 i'm five foot three i'm a pear shape and i think my waist is maybe like 26 i don't really know but yeah i tend to buy a small then again i think this one is actually in a small and this is one of their kind of more like yogury collections which is kind of new for them i think they've only done these recently but it's this really thick ribbed fabric in this lovely like sagey green which you guys know i'm loving like my pistachio colors at the moment and it's got a cute little crossover at the back very very supportive so i actually wore this for a run the other day and honestly found it to be one of the most comfortable ones i've ever worn and I kind of just loved it like i thought it was really nice and i love the fact it's a bit thicker they don't dig in or anything and again i got this one in a small i think it comes in quite a few different colorways which gymshark tends to they tend to have like a lot of color variations per item and i just really like it um i also recommend checking out their leggings and stuff from the same collection because they look really nice they've got like the ones that kind of have that like crossover detailing so it's like more of a v and they had like really cute little tops and stuff as well but I just got that one and I think they were like I think Gymshark bras are normally between like 20 to 35 pounds so I think both of those maybe like 25 each ish then this bra is one of my favorites and somewhere I'd never really bought gym clothes from before which is H&M and I have to admit I do really like it however not the most supportive for running so this is one that I wear more for like if I'm doing a HIIT workout at home or strength or yoga or something like that like I mean I don't really have boobs like I said so I can't really talk about support per se but I think if it's not supportive for me that says a lot about how supportive it would be on bigger boobs but this is just cute I liked it it's just a seam free one it's really nice it's like a creamy colour it's got the v-neck detailing the racer back and it's just really cute and I do really love it just not for running I think for like cycling or any other kind of workout that doesn't involve jumping you'll be fine but yeah i got this one in an extra small and it fits perfectly it's a really really nice kind of fit around the waist as well so really recommend that one then we have this one which is again another gymshark number this one is the power down i got it in a small so it's a really nice ribbed fabric i have took the padding out because i think where this is seam free and ribbed and really really like so soft i kind of wanted it to be more of like a cozy bra than like a heavy g sharp padded sports bra so this one is not the best for running my ladies do still bounce a little bit so i actually tend to wear this more for like walks or again home workouts if i was to go to the gym this would probably be more for a strength day and it's got like a scoop neck back and then it's got the nice crossover front and it does come quite high up which i like because i think it's quite covering and it feels more like a kind of bra crop top as opposed to like a full-on bra really really comfortable i think it's got the power down and i believe there was quite a few different colors but i went for black just because as you can see i don't have like many black bras so i tried to kind of keep on the neutral palette and i tried to keep it all quite kind of i mean you can see here like there is literally black white or neutral or like a green and then the occasional little bit of purple but i tried to keep it all on a kind of tonal palette because for me i'd like to have a gym collection where i can just pull out any two items and they go together and then the last sports bra is actually a new in one from lorna jane which is an australian activewear brand that I've heard about for quite a long time and I've always wanted to try and they recently gifted me a couple of pieces so this is the sports bra that they gifted me the other week and I really like this one it's like a crossover that is ugh, these sports bras are so hard to hold because they just flap everywhere so it's got this like crossover detailing at the back with the thick straps with the mesh in the middle it's got a kind of long line body bit here and then on the front it just looks like so 
Um, this is so hard to show you. Oh my goodness. It's literally just falling all over the show. I mean, I'm going to put this on a cutaway so you can probably see a bit better on the cutaway, but it's just a really cute bra and I like the fact that it's a really thick fabric and it's really flattering on because of the fact it's that slight longer line. So you're a little bit more covered and I really like the mesh detailing. I think it's a really cute bra. I love the fact it's neutral because I didn't even realise I don't actually have a neutral sports bra so this is a very welcome addition and I just think I'd definitely try a few more from Lorna Jane. I haven't really tried anything in the past so I can't comment on like the entire collection but what I have tried I like and it is really good quality so definitely recommend on that part. This one is a size, yeah this one's a size small. Um, then moving on to leggings, all of these are Gymshark bar one pair, not even ashamed to say it, they are all Gymshark because like I said preference, I just found them to be the best and once I find a brand I really like I stick to them and I invest. The only other pair of leggings I do have which I'll actually start with are Lululemon which honestly these are the best pair of leggings I've ever owned in my life but they cost me like £100 and that is an extortionate amount of money to spend on gym kit but my idea behind it was I actually didn't own any good gym leggings at the time and I think I literally had maybe, I don't think I had any of this, I think I had these and I had one pair from Sweaty Betty but the Sweaty Betty ones were like the reversible ones and they're really thick and they're great for if you're doing like yoga or strength training because it's technically having two pairs of leggings in one but for one thing they don't fit me anymore because my hips grew as I got older and for two they just, they were hot if I was going running or anything. So I thought I'd invest in some black leggings and these were the pair that I got. These are, I believe, the Wonder Under, but these are a size four, which I don't know what that equates to in British, but a Lululemon size four. They've got a pocket here, which fits a big iPhone, which is a dream because that's what I have. And they're so comfortable. So they're really nice and soft. They're thin, they're lightweight, they're a dream. And if I had unlimited funds, I would buy entirely lululemon but i don't have that much money and i love them so much that like they genuinely are my favorite pair of gym leggings and they just fit so 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 well they're really flattering they're really figure hugging but like i say they are expensive that's why i only have one pair of them but if you need just a plain classic black pair of leggings i honestly recommend it because yes they're expensive but you're investing in the quality and i think if you are to have like two pair of leggings that you wear for three workouts a week it's worth investing in the high quality stuff because it definitely pays off then moving on we have five pair of leggings from gymshark so the first is these ones which if you saw my instagram you will know i actually lost my previous pair of these and found them just after i reordered so these are the vital leggings which are a kind of like charcoal-y colour, they've got a really thick waistband, they're seam free apart from obviously the inside leg and they have like this nice like dotted texture through them really really cute 100% you cannot see through them which is exactly what I wanted um they are really figure hugging and like flattering on um I like them so much I re-bought them in charcoal and I actually do own them in this color as well so this is two of the same you can kind of see more on these ones the detailing but I really like them and they also have like this slight like spotted detailing under the bum as well so it makes your bum look better but yeah I bought them in the khaki colour and in the black really really love them I got them in a size small and they fit perfectly and if you are a fellow shorty like I am five foot three like I said they come to a really really good length which is great because I can turn them up if I want to but I don't have to like they're the right length for me so they're not like bagging at my ankles or anything which is exactly what you want like I think as a short person it's really hard to find leggings that are like long enough without having to like roll them up or cut them or anything and then next up we have these ones which are my kind of more like extra leggings so I can't remember the name of these but I will like I say leave them linked and these come in a lot of different colours they have matching bras matching tops everything same as like most Gymshark stuff but I only got the leggings so they are this kind of like panelled detailing they've got like shaping detailing under the bum and they're really flattering they're a nice alternative to black and I love these again got them in a small these are I want to say maybe like the best fitting ones and honestly they're just really really comfortable I would say these are probably one of the most comfortable and flattering ones I have from Gymshark um the Vital is obviously my absolute favorite hence why I've got two pairs but I think these are definitely a close second because really comfortable and I just really liked the design on them again in a size small and then same for these ones these are both in a size small um these are the oh, I can't remember the name of these either but they've got these like hole details in and they do also come in black and I believe one other color but these are slightly longer than the other ones so these ones do come a slight bit too long and I turn them over but I really liked the berry color which isn't like me at all normally I'm not a color fan I normally just go for like black or white but 
I just thought they were a nice addition to my gym wardrobe without being like too colourful. Um, and again, they also have like the little seam bit under the bum, which most Gymshark does have. I actually think it's on literally every single pair. And it's just to basically make your bum look a bit more like perky and just shape you up a little bit. Same with the big waistband, which I really like because it kind of holds me in, especially if I'm bloated. But these ones for running are really, really great. The only thing I will say is that Gymshark don't have back pockets in them or like pockets on the leg or anything. So I do actually have a fitness belt, which I got from Amazon for really, really cheap. So when I go on runs and stuff, it's literally just like a belt that you tie around and like Velcro and it fits your phone in and you just run with it. It's it literally is just a piece of fabric with a zip on but really really good for that apart from obviously the lululemon which i put my phone in the pocket and then the last pair are these ones which i was recommended by my sister who is a gym addict these are the camo ones and they actually have a little kind of stitch bit here that's ruffled so it makes your bum look better thick waistband again and these are just like a pistachio sage green color they do come in a million different colours, but I just personally thought this was a really nice colourway. I saw them on Heidi, really liked them, so I copied her. But they're really, really thick and really comfortable. And these are actually my least worn, purely because I think they are the ones that kind of show everything a bit more. So, like, they show every lump and bump, and they're a little bit tighter. So these are, again, a small, but I find the waistband is just a little, little bit tighter. I don't necessarily think that's a problem. Maybe it's just me picking up on it because I've worn the others more, and maybe they were all just as tight to begin with, but... I definitely notice they are slightly tighter so I'm gonna wear them a little bit and then hopefully they loosen up a tiny bit but they're all really good leggings they all stay up really well and all of them here like these are on my rail for a reason because they are tight they are controlling like they shape you nicely they stay up they're not see-through like this is why everything is on here because it is something I've tried and tested and let me tell you I have tried and tested I have had gym stuff from Primark, USA Pro, from Adidas, from Reebok, from Puma, from Nike and genuinely I think this is kind of the best of the best in terms of what I have tried. Um, then moving on we have tops. So I've got five tops on here and then one hoodie because actually let me show you the hoodie first. So this is the most essential part of my gym wardrobe apart from the shoes because I don't like wearing loads and loads of layers so if I am walking to the gym obviously when we're not in lockdown this is a really important part because I chuck it on over my gym kit. It's a nice layer for when I'm walking there, but also it keeps me a little bit warmer on the way back as well, rather than wearing like full on coats. And when I go for runs, it's great to just tie around my waist because I can tie it around my waist and put it on if I get cold, but I can also just run with it and then tie it around my waist. So can't beat a classic hoodie. This one is just a new look special and it's really, really great. It's just a very easy hoodie to throw around my waist and it's a neutral so I don't need to worry about it like matching or anything because it does top wise all of these are Gymshark bar one again um starting from the beginning this is the longest standing one which is a vest really super soft this has been washed hundreds of times and it's still really really soft it's got the deep kind of armhole bits here and the high neck and this is a really great one because it comes to the perfect length where it's like just over your leggings so you can tuck it in or you can like tie it up if you need to if you get really hot but I personally just love it because it's really lightweight and it keeps me a bit covered up, um, keeps me a little bit warmer and it just looks really nice. Then we have a couple of long sleeve tops because like I said I run outside at the moment a lot and if I am in the gym I tend to just be in like a sports bra and leggings or like a little vest. If I'm outside I tend to just wear a long sleeve top because if I run at like 7am it's cold and I like putting on a long sleeve top over the top of a sports bra. If I run in the afternoon I literally just wear a sports bra but this is a very new in one that is my new all time favourite. So this is a Gymshark classic yet again, <laughs> what a surprise. I got this one in a small, say so, oh hang on what size is this one? Small, yeah Gymshark is all small, everything is small. Um, this is again a small and it's a really cute long sleeve top. The Gymshark ones do all have this little like thumb hole in them as well which is really great because it means that it keeps it long and keeps it over your hands where it won't like ride up or anything because obviously if you're spinning or something it's really annoying if it keeps riding up. Um, so I love that. It's a really lightweight fabric like honestly so lightweight but it keeps you warm but it stops you from sweating so it's like what is the word for that? Like you know where it keeps you cool but it also keeps you warm. Does that make sense? And it's got this really nice drawstring detailing, so you can like drawstring the bottom to make it tighter if you wanted to, to like hold it up, or you can obviously wear it looser. And then I tend to just tuck this bit in my sports bra because obviously there's nowhere else for it to go. But that's the one thing I really liked about it, or you could just leave it looser if you chose to. I have mixed it up quite a bit. Sometimes I wear it tighter, sometimes I wear it looser, depending on what I'm doing, 
or like that day. It's also really nice and lightweight to tie around your waist if you get really hot, so you can literally just tie it and it feels like you're wearing another belt. This is a kind of similar alternative without the ties bit, and this one's actually a little bit tighter and does ride up slightly, but I kind of don't mind that it rides up because obviously I wear sports bras underneath. Um, it's white, it's got this little mesh panel at the top, again it's got the little thumb holes and I just really liked this one but I do like it for running, I think it's really comfortable and again really breathable and keeps me warm enough on my morning runs. Um, then we have the one that matches these, which I actually bought this before these, so I bought this with the black ones. And then I bought the leggings to match, which I've not worn this as a set yet. I do like it as a set, and I think one day I probably will wear it, but I just really liked the colour. So this is this top, which looks questionable on the hanger because it is very tight fitting and it looks it looks really small on here, but it's actually not. It's just because it's the same legging fabric. So this is a small again. Same little kind of thumb holes on here. This one it comes a lot shorter. So this one I put over a sports bra. And 90% of the time you can see the sports bra, like it literally comes to here. Works as a great overlayer if you're going for a morning run. Also great if you're in the gym and you just wanted something longer sleeved. Because sometimes I find like, if I just want to wear a sports bra to the gym but I'm cold, I just chuck this over the top. Um, Gymshark are very, very good at their matching sets and like long sleeve crop. So can recommend that. Like I say, like I keep saying I can recommend, but I literally own all of this and have it on the rail for a reason. Like this is stuff that I wear all the time. Like this is a collection I've built up over maybe a year, two years. And it's so good that I literally haven't wanted or needed any other gym kit like all I did was add three sports bras the other week because I didn't have any sports bras like, I was literally living on the same three and leggings and stuff I've had for quite a while tops minus the black one I've had for quite a while I just realized I needed a long sleeve black top because I had these two but obviously where I'm going for more runs I wanted like a black one but yeah it's all stuff that I have curated and have for a reason and then the last thing I have on this rail is this from Lorna Jane which to me is more of like a yogury strength training top as opposed to like running because it is thick. It's like a breathe it's it's kind of like a breathable fabric the same as these, but a thicker version of. It's got this really cute like ruffled hem, long sleeves and then on the back it's got this nice open back detailing which I thought was really cute, but I definitely think this is more of like a yoga um like at home strength training kind of workout or a walk rather than a run because I think for a run that would really annoy me because it would like be flapping all over the show but I do really like it for yoga and stuff and I'm glad it's in my life obviously gifted again with the bra but yeah that is basically my gym capsule wardrobe and stuff that I've been really enjoying wearing on my runs in lockdown but also things that I found really good in the gym when I could go. I do try and mix up my routine a little bit. So before everything went kind of the way it is now, I did used to go to the gym kind of three or four days a week and I'd also do random classes. So like spin classes or like, I did actually do boot camp a couple of times last summer and I really want to get back into it this year if obviously the situation improves. But I really enjoy like boot camp and stuff because when you're outside and you're just like running around and like feeling really fit and you've got other people and like motivated and stuff. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. It is definitely a very one-off kind of video because I'm not a gym person by any means. Like, I actually think I've put on more weight in lockdown even though I'm working out and either way, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed it and yeah, bye guys.